Hey everyone, EG Braden Sam here, and I'm going to be talking to you today about unlocking a hidden feature in the game streaming portion of the Xbox One app for the Windows 10 computer. Now, if you don't have this, uh, basically it's going to, going to be default installed on any Windows 10 computer. Now, you're going to need a Windows 10 uh, installation on your computer to actually use this feature, including the Xbox One app, which I actually talked to you guys about in a previous video about how to set up the game streaming. By default, you have three encoding options available to you within the app. You have low, medium, and high. High is going to be kind of near 720-ish quality. It looks pretty good considering it's just over your your own net. However, there is a hidden high, very high feature that you can unlock. This one is actually pretty close to 1080p resolution sent wirelessly from your Xbox One to any computer that's running Windows 10, and then you can use a screen capture software, what I, like I'm using OBS right now, to actually capture that. So you don't even need a capture card to capture your video game triumphs and your fails. So step one, what you want to do is actually just go into your your my PC, this PC, etc. Go where your Windows is installed in the C drive. Click on the users, click on your main account, and what you want to see is the app data folder. Now by default, this is going to be not visible to you as it is a hidden folder. What you're going to need to do is enable your ability to see hidden files. You just do that by clicking the view, hit hidden items, and then you'll be able to see the folder. Now when you see the folder, just double click the folder, go under local. Now under local what you want to do is you actually want to go down to something called packages right here. Now when you're in packages you're going to see a lot of Microsoft stuff. Kind of scroll down you'll see the Xbox app. Click the Xbox app option and now you're going to see some more subfolders. Now what you want to do in here is look for the local state folder. Now this is the one that's actually going to house the individual files con controlling it. So click on your local state and you get a bunch of files here. What you want to do is click on the user console data. Click this one and by default it will ask you what kind of program you want to open it. Just click on notepad any text editor if you have uh, notepad plus plus anything like that will work now what you're going to do is you're going to get a screen that looks like this one line of text that is pretty much useless to you for understanding it but you want to see you want to kind of scroll to the right until you see this is internal preview what you want to do is you want to make sure this is set to true once this is set to true, then you're, you'll be all ready. So then once you do type in true, where did it go? There it is. Is set to true. True, yes. Click save to save that as your new file. And that is everything. You will now have the ability to game stream under the very high encoding level to your Windows 10 computer. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.